Someone left a strange, mean comment on one of my uh, replay videos. They, 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 it was basically like, what the fuck? This isn't music. Disliked. What? I was like, well, you know, maybe you don't like the acapellas, but it is music. I don't know why you're confused about it. I was like, yeah. maybe, maybe he can't express himself. Maybe he's like 10 or foreign. So I was just like, huh, and I clicked on his page to see if he had any videos, and he does. Four of them are Yu-Gi-Oh, and two are cockfighting. What? Yeah. <laughs> Did you record his channel? No, what? I probably should. Content? You need to, actually, because that is against policy. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Oh, what was it? He had a weird name for it. He's like, uh, it's not, it's, it's like in parentheses, he's like, game foul. But you put it on and it's just like two chickens in his backyard duking it out. I'm pretty I'm like, sure. Well, you know what? Crazy. I'm not going to take his criticism seriously because he's a dirty cockfighter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Build index the hard way. Have fun with hard way. Stop the music. It's a challenge. Hey, what's up, you season one duels? And welcome to the Dick Build Challenge, where each week two combatants face off with strange theme decks. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, two returning co-hosts. In corner number one, we have CS Meek. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Best Waifu again. I, I have no idea you were Best Waifu. <laughs> Apparently, we have Best Waifu here, guys. And over here in uh, square number two, we have second Best Waifu, Das Chili One. Um, actually, I think you'll find that this duel took place in season two. It's just season one in the States. Yeah, but that's all we count. And yes, today we are doing a, a, an anime-themed battle. We're seeing the uh, the the insects, and specifically, perfectly ultimate great moth with their new support, going up against Gaia, the fierce knight, and and his new support. And this is all thanks to Patreon Supreme Lord Patron Supreme himself, Joe Average, uh, who wanted to see the new insect support in something in a DBC. So I said I'd try this out, and then. This will be pretty fun. And he also wanted to see Chili in, a, in an episode, for whatever reason. I guess to, to him, you are best waifu. Or husbando, if that's that's what you're into. You guys need to stop playing patty cake over there. There we go. Hey. Okay. And uh. I remembered the sleeves. Not like I last week, moment. where Cardsworth forgot the sleeves. I'm still cleaning up some blood from that. It's just, oh, oh, messy everywhere. Oh, that's, no. That's actually terrifying. Yeah. Did you throw them in the blender? Not yet. I've been threatening about it. Right off the bat, doing it interesting with the uh, Sky Galloping Gaia, the Dragon Champion, probably one of the least used Gaias. Yeah, uh, when you told me about this challenge, the first thing I did was, Oh, hey, that was the duel that introduced fusion as a thing. I want to do something with that. So I just made fusion guy. Ah, I see. Um, so let's see. Parasite Paranoid. Target a face-up monster. It becomes insect, and it cannot attack insects. But it can attack face-downs. Yes. And it's it does kind piercing. of annoying. If only you had played it face-up. But granted, it's pinch hopper, so now you get a thing. Oh, hey. And now I lose. So, this is fun. <laughs> and now I lose. The end. Yeah. Apparently, and you guys uh, worked on your decks together? A little bit. I, mainly, I helped him with his because I knew what I was doing. I, I knew exactly what I was doing and I wasn't going to change it at all. Somewhat. I don't know, you showed me the decks beforehand just to make sure that they were all right. I remember specifically Meek showed me his, and I looked over it, and I'm like, where's the uh, cocoon of ultimate evolution? I was doing my best to not run it. We all told him to not run it, and he didn't. We all told him to run it, and he didn't listen to a single one of us. How, how so. come you didn't want to run it? I just, I, I was, because I wasn't, I wasn't trying to turbo out Great Moth. It was like an add extra feature of my deck. It was mostly about doing piercing and with bugs and stuff. and Oh. Well, the point is to turbo out Ultimate Great Moth. I know. <laughs> That's what Joe Average wanted. 
He wanted no, to see instead. a perfectly ultimate great moth fight a Gaia and be like, Wacha! Also, neither of you played Corrosive Scales, did you? That new trap card? No, because yeah, it's I... actually really bad. It's really good if you play the Cocoon because it's an equip <sighs> card, but... <laughs> no, but, like... It... <sighs> It's the it only thing that makes it anything. Do uh, I can't I can't word today. I'm really tired. I cannot word. I have the dumb. E exactly. I mean, you could say you you're tired. That's relatable and stuff. But I like to say I have the dumb because that's like a silly thing. Give me also, this insect. Oh, that's not what I wanted. God damn it! What the menu you... popped up too fast. Aha! <laughs> I sabotage myself, giving Chili a chance to succeed. That's actually really fucking annoying. Okay. Well, at least you got over his uh, grinder golem. Nope, you gave me a 3k beer, I'm keeping it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. It's my 3k beer. It's the only way I'm going to get over Great Moth at this point. The salty... Isn't Great Moth 3500? It is. Yeah. But I have other methods to make it stronger. Ah, I see. And another spiral spear strike. Discard two, draw one. Uh, no. Let's draw two, discard one. So, draw four, discard two. It's better, Saryuja. <laughs> well, except Saru. I don't know. Would, would Sar. Would. Ugh. I just called Skulldred. Ow. Oh, would Skulldread be better if it made you discard the remaining cards, or if do you think it's better that it lets you put it back in the deck? I I feel like discarding would be better. That'd be more toolboxy. It really depends on the deck, I guess. I know recently. I don't think it'll be out yet. Um, actually, it might. I don't know. But I I was recently using DDDs, and those run on Skulldread like pretty consistently. And it's like, I know for them, for sure, like, you just want everything dumped into the graveyard. Oh, hey. Concealing light. Why you gotta conceal my light, man? Cuz, I need my, I need my queen back. You're rude. Queen, queen slay. You could call me queen bee. Baby, I'll rule. Oh, hey. That's a pretty fiendish play there, Chili. <laughs> oh, hey, Doomdozer. I hear yeah, he's really good in Duel Links. Oh god. Do you, do you guys, do either of you guys play Duel Links? No. Uh, kinda. I run six AMs in it. So. Comment in the comments if you play Duel Links. I was I like, I, I was almost thinking about getting into it, and then I heard they don't have a main phase too, and I was like, oh, nope. Yeah, I, play, I played it a little bit before. I ran Glad Beasts a bunch, but like, eh. Uh, I've I've actually really gotten into the one of like four Final Fantasy. Damn it, Chili! No. Wait, uh, was this on your list? Yes. Yeah. I don't remember seeing that on your list. I even told you I put in a second one in the side deck when you asked me to take out my moon mirrors. Oh, that's okay. I didn't recognize. See, you you showed me a screenshot. I thought that was the that other. Uh... Whatchamacallit. I thought that was the other, like, BLS. Because there's one that looks really similar to that. Sacred Soldier? I think so. But it's got, like, the white background and sort of holding up a, a sword. I could look it up, but, but it wouldn't work very well. I'm still trying to look up corrosive scales on my phone, but my phone is, like, a piece of garbage. But yeah, I've really gotten into Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. That's kind of eaten up all my mobile game time. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure I just lose this now. Yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna have to ask you to take out your uh, your masterpiece. Master piss, more like. Master piss take. Crossword beetle. He's got the beetles like crazy. Go, oh, Gaia. Stab him in the throat. I won't give you the satisfaction! <laughs> I surrender first! So while, while they're siding, I want to give a big old hard leg Patreon shout out to Joe Average, who sponsored this episode, Lord Patron Supreme. 
he he's also the guy who helped me out the most in my uh my hard leg tax stream um with with all all my tax pro he's just been super helpful in general just i i could not i could not have a more generous patron so uh, thanks to him down at the comments, both if you like this episode, or if you just like me surviving in general, which uh, I, I like to think that I like me sur surviving. How about you guys? Uh, yeah, surviving's good. Yeah. Always. We'll, we'll be back when you're done sighting. I oh, and we're first. back. We're back and we're fighting. Yep. Oh. There's a note to add to the, uh, the donation stream for tax breaks and all that. Uh... Well, this is certainly a hand. Well, I think by the time this comes out, that stream will have already happened. Hopefully, yes. it was a huge success. But as of right now, it is still technically possible that someone could beat out Mr. Joe Average. I don't. I don't think so. It, he, he before we even had the stream, he donated sixty-nine percent of the money. Holy you shit! Could go, you could go over, and he could, you know, get beaten out. Yeah, that. I guess if we go over. It's really weird doing, like, again, it, it, that, that's the thing about what, what I always talk about, like, dating the video. It's like, people know we record these in uh, beforehand, but it's weird to be like, at, at, at the time we're recording this, uh. that stream is a week away. It's still theoretical possibility, but by the time people will hear it, it's already been a week happened. Yep. So it's really, it's really a strange time thing. Oh, hey. Twin Twisters. Good old Wabaku. Always chainable. Oh, hey, in that time they put Diglett on something, even though Pokemon doesn't belong to them. Yep. Uh. Um. Like, those are clearly Diglets. They got the red fuck. noses and everything. I think, unlike on Diglett, those are mouths. Wow, how many, how many things did you, uh. How many things did you banish, bro? Enough to go ahead and just slip Grand Maju in here, I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, just need Eater of Millions. Yeah. Uh, do you run any rank sevens? I run several. I even run one that's hilarious in what it can theoretically do. But it's kind of inside. I'll refrain from doing it for now. Oh, okay. Well, you have another version of it. I don't know what it's you're a pity about. it doesn't stop you from attacking at all, it just stops you from hey, attacking. Hey Chili! Fuck you! <laughs> Super cocoon. It's fine. I can deal with this. Perfectly <laughs> ultimate. Its only effect is a condition that prevents it from being summoned normally. Oh, and then you can summon one from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. Doom Dozer. He's a dozer of doom. He dooms his dozer from here to Dozer Town. But do you have a dark and a light? No. Rest and Lord peace, Gaia man. is an Earth. He is. It's true. But hey, Meek put in the card that we kept telling him to put in, and he refused to do so. No, and it no ended up card. working out perfectly. See? This is why you play it, Meek. You can get right. Oh, what's this? This is in your side deck. Beatron! With all his glowing green orbs of goo? Send a face up yes. spell trap, you control the graveyard, target level 4 insect, monster in your graveyard spell. Oh, it's already off the field. By the time I read it. Wait, one. Target three insects, shuffle them into there. Swall! <laughs> also, oh, this. It gains 500 attack and defense. Great. Damn, son. It's okay. See, uh, he, he had asked. Now I'm big. <laughs> it's okay, he's got magic cylinder. Oh, wait, no, it can't be targeted. Well, yeah, no, it's the entire reason I'm not running Magic Cylinder this time. It's because I knew that would be a problem. 
Oh, now I completely forgot. Yeah, oh, yeah, because Joe Average, originally, he was just like, play play the uh, the new insect support, and I was like, I've already got a whole bunch of, like, requests that are going to last me for, like, into the next month, and I'm not sure if the insects are Shoot good me. enough. <laughs> Waboku! You can't destroy it by battle. I know. And I don't take damage. You can attack again once in a row if you tribute a monster. You probably don't want oh, to tribute fuck. one, though. And it won't let me back out, so, the, yeah, cool. That's neat. Yeah, I should have tributed you perfectly ultimate, man. Don't, don't, don't be agreeing to things that you can't agree to. Uh, but yeah, I, I decided to do this as a DBC because I didn't think they could work, but now that I see, see how easily they can summon out 4,000 beaters, like, may, hey, what are you doing with insects? This was my, this was my, hey, I can run this, and it <laughs> would be hilarious. Wait a minute, wait a minute, no, no! Oh, wait, I thought, oh, I got my life points confused. I'm a tired boy. Uh, you still have 8,000. I don't know. You both have 8,000. <laughs> you got yeah. confused with I, I was thinking the last duel. I, I only say, have six cards in deck, though. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, I mean, you can run that over, though. You can inflict, do 500 damage for every card in this hand. This is true. I'm no mathematician, but that looks like 500 to me. <laughs> oh my god, Chili. Chili got every Wabaku. No one Waboku's like Chili. <laughs> I'm uh, not talking about you, I'm talking about the country. If you've ever been there, yeah, I'm just gonna not let you attack. But it's pronounced Chile. Chile. Why wouldn't it let me attack? Because you can't oh, attack wait. insect monsters. But he can attack directly because he. Uh... Oh, yeah. Nah, it's okay. When you get rid of that, you can summon that monster in your hand. Plus, now he can't burn you for an extra 500. That's true. Hey, how come he didn't do any damage? Prohibition. Prohibition on Raigeki. Parasite Paranoid. <laughs> Doesn't affect the ones already on the field. I know. I summon a token. Can you use- oh yeah, you can attack again, can't you? Yeah. The real question is, okay, so how many- how many Wabakus have you gone through? All three? I believe yes. Oh good. I was gonna say, if you could stall for four more turns... Swift Scarecrow. <laughs> Ooh, mmm, close. And then I get another token. Another one. You can make more links with that. So whatever you drew, it's undoubtedly better than red eyes and oh. Oh no. Aww. That's no fun. Ch chili, that's that's rude. Wait. Why is he attacking? Because I couldn't dark stuff anyway. Oh, yeah. Chili, that's rude. I forgot because I was like, the better play is to attack the- or to banish the moth and then... But he couldn't target the moth. Yep. And now Beatron is coming in with his big glowing dragon balls. You wanna resurrect <laughs> Krillin? <laughs> nah, it's Yamcha for the 37th time. And you go face down, because why not? No piercing, but still. <laughs> yep, nope, I'm just gonna <laughs> stop that. And you can't get over 2,500! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I see why they call you Chili now, because you cool down the duel, you slow it down to a crawl. You put some ice on this hot action. I mean, stun decks are my favorite to play. Anyone who's dueled me on the Discord is well aware of this. I either stun or OTK, there is no in between. <laughs> mm. 
The real question is, of your three remaining cards, are any of them useful? <laughs> I don't know. And you don't want to flip that up, because then he's just going to banish you. Yeah. And if it's one thing I know, it's that you don't want to be banished. Oh, yes. Yes! The clutch is real! Doom, Doom Dozer! The Dozer of Doom! Nobody exactly. dooms like he do. And there we go. Btron for game. A close match. We're going into the third duel, people, and it's not a revenge duel. It's an actual full-out balls to the wall duel kind of duel. Don't just make sure to wipe up your drool, guys. Wipe up your drool if you're gonna have a duel. And uh, while we're here do drooling around and doing all sorts of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and give a second hard leg Patreon shout out this time to a guy who didn't donate for this episode, but who still donates in general. A cool guy goes by the name of Brian Bruns. You guys on the Patreon might know him as Dust. He's not very talkative, but when he does talk, ooh wee, he is nice. A friendly gentleman. Uh, what's the Magnum Shield? Are you bringing condoms into this? I don't like that. <laughs> I'm sure Chili, a magnum is also a gun, but uh, condoms are more fun. That's rude, Chili. I don't like that. No comment from Chili. So is this grinder golem play. <laughs> Last I checked, grinder golem wasn't an insect. It's an insect inside of a golem. It's being controlled by bugs. Yes. What do you think that? Even a... What do you think those chains are? Metal chains? No. Those are one of those rare bug chains. They're made of chitin. <laughs> Besides, he made Link Spider. That's an insect. Except for it's a cyber. Except it's a cyber. And even if it wasn't, spiders aren't insects. They're arachnids. Where's my arachnid type, Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> they have arachnid type Pokemon, but not Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There are no interactive type Pokemon. I don't know where you're getting this information from. Uh, I just kind of make it up as I go. <laughs> are there arachnid type uh, magics the gathering? Uh, uh yes. Person to ask. There are spider mon spider monsters. Yeah, they 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 just really like they unlike Yu-Gi-Oh, where like the types are set, and every time they make a new type, it's kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. In magic, it just seems like. Eh, you know, whatever. These are these are uh, Robo Centaurs. That's a type now. <laughs> at uh, least that's just what it seems like to me. I don't know if it is like that, where they just come up with new types at the drop of a hat. Uh, yes and no. They try to stick to the already made ones, but yeah, they have dinosaurs. They've got Robo Centaurs. Those are actually like a thing. <laughs> But they're just, they're labeled as automatons, yeah. I think. And they have, like, I know, like, aren't werewolves and vampires, like, their own? Yes. It's, that, that's the thing that always struck me about Magic the Gathering, is that, uh, oh, hey, it's Monster Reborn, but for Lynx. Yes, sir. But he came back. He's just a tiny little firewall dragon. Part of me is like, I'm get sure that here. card's going to get limited at some point in the TCG when it comes out, but we also have Monster Reborn back, so I'm yep. not sure of it now. I, th I think if we have you take anything out, Meek, it's going to be your Lynx. Because these Aww. are decidedly not Ultimate Great Moth, or even Insects in the slightest. Like, this Aww. duel, you've done nothing that has anything to do with your type. You just teched in Grinder Golem, and it allowed you to make But I haven't, I haven't drawn anything. That's the other issue. <laughs> Well, maybe you should have built a deck that can draw things. I did! Alright, what do we got now? Twistering some twins? Sounds like a fun Saturday night to me. Wow, <laughs> oh. Cool. oh my god! <laughs> Chili, I hate you and your battle traps. Not even a battle trap, you can way, chain it whenever. Thing, man. Oh hey, Aztecapede. It's like Doom Dozer's little brother. Yes, sir. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
and a pinch hopper. Helps out in a pinch. Hey. And he hops. <laughs> <Boop>. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's got pinch hopper. What's he gonna, he's going to attack into it. Summon no. something from his hand. Have a big old dandy thing. Nope. He's making Utopia the Lightning. Yes. Another staple of insect decks. <laughs> I... Uh, uh, I couldn't synchro! If I could synchro, I would be doing that. <laughs> Into bugs? Mm hmm There are no good synchro bugs. Yeah, but at least you can synchro. <laughs> that wouldn't be... <laughs> the point is that you're not doing what the deck is. Not that that uh, you're not synchro. I mean, what? Yeah, that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> you're making all these links. Well, I could synchro if I if I could. Like, yeah, but that's. I don't want you to synchro either. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He's got he's got blissed. He's blessed. Oh no. Oh no. And then all the pieces. He's go hashtag away. blessed. Yep. He's got a big shield. He's not holding it up very well. It's kind of like my arm's kind of tired. I hope this sword, the back end, doesn't cut through my my shoulder. Mm. And then just... <laughs> yep. It's the just, only way I can win. Just bringing back security, Dargan, again. Security, Goodbye, Dargan. Chili. This is a, this is a great sucks. security, Dargan, deck that you've built. Yes. You know what really sucks? I would have won that, but I accidentally skipped my in phase before I could set my compulsory evacuation device to bounce. Oh. <laughs> A sad state of affairs. So yes, um, CS Meek technically the winner, but we're gonna do one more revenge duel. I want to see these. I want to see this without the firewall dragons, without the link shenanigans. We'll see who's who then. Maybe replace it with corrosive scales. <laughs> All right, and here we are in the fourth revenge duel. Will Chili be able to overcome the uh, the stuff and do the things, or will bad stuff happen? The answer, yes to all of them. See, hey, the trick is, whoa, whoa, what's this? Keeper of Dragonic Magic. Him he's new. Got, he's got a cool spear. He's going to polywally doodle all the day. He is useful for making Gaia Dragon. Well, he both searches Polly, and he is a dragon. So, how come you didn't? Uh, how come you didn't make him then? Uh, because I didn't have the Gaia part. No. Oh. It's kind of important. He's a cool guy. Uh. I heard he makes uh, dark magicians suddenly become really good again. I have no idea. I'm going to assume that it's still trash. Oh, do you guys do you guys not know much? Do, 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 do neither of you play Dark Magicians? No. I just know it's a deck I have always hated because I never play Spell Trap Removal and that's their big weakness. <laughs> get that, that, that Spell Trap Removal that... Uh, or get those decks that need Spell Trap Removal and then not have it. And it's always the bane of my existence. Oh, hey, it's that guy. It, it him, he here. He attack. He protect, kind of. No, she protect. And as Techipede. Now this is more like it. Now that's a lineup of bugs. I can be happy. So the middle one attack, the, the insect queen protect, and the other one just as tech. Yeah. <laughs> attack, protect, oh. as tech. It's fine. At Chilly. least you're not attacking into something. Chili, why? <laughs> Chili, why? Chili, are you taking lessons from Top? <laughs> I will. I will. Gee, it's three heads oh in a row. God. Well, I get a call, so always have to be heads. <coughs> I'm just lucky. I'll pay. I'll pay five hundred black points for you. You got all of there. Cardsworth's luck. Which again, you guys haven't Stop. seen that episode. It's not out yet. But uh, me and Carsworth did a coin flip episode. Oh God! Have you missed it? I believe I had a counter for how many tails he got in three duels. 
on cards that like he needed a heads to to succeed, and it was like forty something. Like, he was just getting consistent... Ta this has a graveyard effect? Yes. Oh, hey. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Wait, how come that... Oh, it's no longer warrior type, so the magnum shield goes away. Oh, well, that's neat. That's a neat interaction. I didn't think about that. Now you just gotta hope he doesn't call the fairy box. Please stop. Please call yes! the fairy box. Yes! And he, but she came back. Damn it. And did nothing. Damn it! <laughs> well, I mean, you're saving yourself, but you didn't save yourself the one time you needed to save yourself. And hey, anything that keeps me in the duel longer is fine by me. Although you're taking that 500. I hate fairy box so much. Let's just go ahead and... I don't want you to play Gate Guardian. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. He put him back in because it's the revenge duel. Uh, no, Ugh. it's because I sided him out, but since this is a new set of duels, he's not sided out anymore. Oh, okay. I see. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Oh. Hey, cool. I can't target your insects. Yeah, no, but you, you could have attacked over insect queen and then destroyed perfectly ultimate. I, I, I forgot I couldn't do that. <laughs> it's okay, we all forget things from time to time. Sorry. Everybody hurts. Sometimes. Stop that. Stop that. That's rude. Oh, I forgot that's a continuous thing. Consider it payback for the time you built this, but it was just true Dracos. <laughs> Shh. He doesn't need to know about that. Or I told the previous him about duel it. where you built this and it was just uh, making links. Uh... The good news is, I still have a relatively okay chance of doing something here. <laughs> yeah, if you get several heads. Oh, hey, I might get game with this. No, I won't. 1475, a fine year if I do say so myself. Okay. I believe Columbus was just a young boy living in Italy. Yes! Ah, uh, 1825, an equally good year. <laughs> I know a lot about all your history buffs out there. What's your favorite oh, time oh. time period in the 18th century? <laughs> oh god, I hate fairy bots so much. You don't take any of those direct attacks. Now all you gotta do is find, all you gotta do is play something that halves your life points, and then we get into really weird life point territory. Jesus. I always love it when you have, like, 533 life points or something like that. <laughs> well, it's been nice knowing you, Chili. Goodbye, Chili. Your fairy box did you well, but not well enough. Okay, I can still technically win. It's still possible. I haven't lost yet. I haven't lost yet. I haven't lost yet. I lost. And now, now you've you lost. <laughs> so yes, thanks to our competitors, Das Chili One and CS Meek for, for coming up. Thanks again to Brian Bruns and specifically to Joe Average for suggesting this interesting duel. Uh, any last words, Mr. Meek? I got really fucking lucky. <laughs> Uh, sure. And Mr. Chili One. You know, to have built a Fusion Guy variant, I didn't fuse very much. No, not 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 as often as you would have liked. Maybe you gotta have more search power for your Gaias, the Fierce Knights, or something. It wasn't even the Gaias that was the problem. It was getting a Fusion spell. <laughs> yep. Also, press F to pay respect for Corrosive Scales, <laughs> which didn't F. see any play in this deck whatsoever. <laughs> so, maybe next time. Until then, good luck. Have fun! Uh, <laughs>